You mentioned you were on this book tour. And as you leave today, we bestow upon you about 2,000 safe space stickers. <laughs> thousands. Thousands and thousands of safe space stickers. No, you know, why, why would someone take a safe space sticker? Where would they put it? Why would they need it? Oh, man. Well, first of all, we're so excited to have partnered with you all on the safe space sticker. I feel like there could not be a better partnership of, like, the Ally Coalition and everyone is gay. Right? Being like, listen, everyone pick up a GD sticker. Yeah. Like, what can you say on a podcast? Can I say goddamn? Said it. Perfect. Okay, yeah. you pick up a goddamn fucking sticker. Um, but I, I think that, you know, the, the deal with safe space stickers, and we talk about this like when we talk at schools um, too, is that they seem small and like they're cool to look at, but I think a lot of people don't place a lot of value on them. And they are life changing for so many people. Like if you have a safe space sticker on your notebook or Mike has one on his water bottle or your door to your, you know, dorm room if you're in college or your um, workplace desk if you, you know, have a job somewhere, that sticker is like this little beacon and it just lets everyone around you know that um, you're safe and that the space is safe for them to be who they are, to say who they're dating, to say how they identify. Um, and it's just a really incredible tool to let people know that they can be themselves um, all in just a little piece of vinyl, you know? Yeah. And the other side of that too is like, uh, I think there are plenty of people who don't know what space, safe space stickers mean. And I think that they wouldn't immediately feel safe because they don't really get it. But there is room for anyone who has that sticker to explain why it's there. So like if a professor has a safe space sticker on her door and tells all of her classes like just so you know this is what this sticker means um or like someone at target corporate has one and they're like just so you know this is what you know having a safe space means then you're in a place where you've told every single person who's come into that classroom and every single person who works at target target corporate what that means and so having not known that they could feel safe they do or having not known that they could create a safe space by having a small sticker then you do know so i think it's you know cool yeah, and I think um, it also is a stepping stone. You know, I think that, like, teachers may start with a safe space sticker and then from there, like, have a conversation, like Danielle said, about what that sticker is for and what a safe space means, and then that encourages more things to happen to make spaces even safer. You know, we've had teachers who have told us that um, after thinking about um, some of the work of ours that they've read and other things that they now ask all of their students what their preferred pronouns are at the start of the school year. And like, that's a nut, that's like a building block on safe space, you know, to just make everyone know that like, we're not assuming things in this classroom. We understand that everybody is different and we all have our own identities. Um, so I think that it, it also is like step one of what winds up being a lot more. 